Shall we solve this J advance question in a single step? Let us analyze the question. A glass beaker has a solid plano convex base of refractive index as shown in the figure. So there is this glass beaker, it has a plano convex uh, lens. Okay. The radius of curvature of the convex surface is 9 centimeters. So this radius of curvature is 9 centimeters. While the planar surface acts as a mirror. So the base that you see now that is a, a mirror. This beaker is filled with a liquid of refractive index N up to the level QPR. So there is a liquid which is filled in this vessel. If the image of the point object O is at a height H is formed onto itself, then which of the following options is or are correct? So if I keep an object here, okay, and after refraction and reflection, the image is formed on itself, then he is given the values of N and H. And we need to see which of the options is correct. So let us go uh, for two solutions. The first is a standard solution and the second one is the awesome solution. So this is a standard solution. In this solution, we take the plano convex lens, find its uh, focal length. The other uh, plano concave lens, which is formed due to the liquid, we find its focal length. Add the powers and then uh, you know the object must be placed at the radius of curvature of the uh, combined mirror. So that is what he has done here and we get the relation between H and N. Okay. Let us now move on to the awesome solution. So let us say our object is here. This is the principal axis. Okay. Let's extend this here. Now I am going to consider a ray coming from this object and getting refracted here. So this is one ray. Okay. And after refraction here, where will this ray meet? Tell me, let us say this is H. Where will this ray meet? This ray will meet at N times H. Okay. First, uh, first interface refraction is over. Now at the second interface after refraction, how should the ray go so that the image is formed on itself? Basically the ray has to retrace its path. Okay. So if this ray goes like this, exactly like this, if it falls perpendicularly on the plane mirror, then exactly it will reflect here like this and it will retrace its path and go there. Right. So what I will do is at this surface, at the interface of this liquid and the lens, I am going to write the uh, refraction at spherical surface formula. Okay, so this refractive index is n and this is 1.6. Okay, so now let us write the formula mu2 by v that is 1.6 by infinity because this is a straight line parallel to principal axis, which means it is forming at infinity minus mu1 is n divided by u. What is the object distance? Here it is nh. So minus nh equal to mu2 minus mu1. That is 1.6 minus n divided by r. Okay. Sign convention. We use it as plus 9 centimeters. Okay. This becomes 0. Okay. This becomes 1 by h equal to 1.6 minus n by 9 or 9 equal to 1.6 minus n into h. That's it. That's it. In a single step, we have got the solution. Now there are, you know, four options. We just plug in the options of n and h and see whether it is right or wrong. Isn't this awesome? See, let us go back to the previous method. Okay. You see here we have just written one formula refraction at the curved surface here. Okay. In the previous method, in the previous method, you have to find the power of one, power of the second, okay, final power. And while writing the power, if you make mistakes in the you know sign convention, there is a high chance of making mistakes, more calculations, more silly mistakes. Okay. So that is why this method that we have seen is an awesome method. Okay.
now we'll see what is our next video can you guess this question in the next video i'm going to give a crystal clear explanation for this question stay tuned see you all bye bye